of penguins were listed as an endangered species by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And the main reason? Their habitat and therefore their survival is being threatened by climate change. In tonight's Eye on Earth, meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff takes us on a journey to Antarctica on one researcher's quest to study these animals. The weather today is um, pretty nice. We are at about minus 10, so it was a good day to go out and um, actually go to the penguin colony. While Daniel Zitterbart calls Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution home most of the year, seven days of travel and five flights later takes him to Atka Bay, Antarctica, a place so remote, emperor penguins outnumber humans 160 to one. All these birds, they tell us a story about the health of our environment. The emperor penguins are sentinel for the state of the ecosystem of the Southern Ocean. They go out into the ocean and they swim and they forage and come back with information about where did they go, how much food did they find, how are they doing. And if emperor penguins are doing bad, the ecosystem is doing bad. Not so much a canary in a coal mine, but rather a penguin in polar air, giving a pulse of the health of the Southern Ocean. Protecting the emperor penguin ultimately means protecting the Southern Ocean, and protecting the Southern Ocean means that uh, climate change will happen slower. In recent years, the Southern Ocean has been called a sleeping giant, one that's starting to awaken. Preliminary data for Antarctica's 2023 summer ice extent shows a new record low driven by warming oceans and melting glaciers. We are way past it will change, will change, but we have to be able to adapt. Our job is really to uh, provide the best data we can to uh, make pressure to be able to uh, create protected areas so the ecosystem has more time to adapt. It will have to adapt. Collecting that data begins when about 300 penguin chicks are microchipped each year the same technology that vets use to chip our cats and dogs. To track the animals is the really difficult part. Enter the Echo unmanned ground vehicle. Echo is basically a robot that drives around, detect penguins, slowly approach them, try to scan them, see if it's one detect or not, then go away, find the next penguin and scan it again. The penguins don't seem to mind this rover in their territory. They are really um, relaxed about it as long as you're slow. So we have to drive very slow, but the good thing is that a robot doesn't get bored or tired. <laughs> Zitterbart hopes the success of Echo translates into more research for other animals without direct human interaction. Well, our aim is to be able to use that technology we develop here and bring it to other species. And while branching out to other animals may be years away, Zitterbart likes to take things day by day. I learn something new every day. I fail every day. Uh, we try something every day and basically every day we fail again, uh, but we make tiny little baby steps and uh, those baby steps are very rewarding. Uh, we educate the next generation of hopefully scientists and engineers. And some of that learning and education is being done right here at the New England Aquarium. These southern rockhopper penguins are listed as a vulnerable species. Some of the research being done in Antarctica will hopefully prevent them from following the same path as their cousins, the emperor penguins. In Boston, Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News.